right, I'm covered in dog hairs. I've just got. Ooh, you are crazy! Got home from work and I have uh, fed the dogs and given them a walk. That's Esme, my little female chihuahua. You're such a good girl. And then I've got two boys, a Pomeranian and uh, another chihuahua, but he's a boy. So you've got Esme, Eli and Hugo. Hugo's just currently chewing the ear of a rain, no, the antler of a reindeer off his toy. But I've got him a toy. Oh, now he wants to know. Look what mummy got you. Another reindeer. Ah! Yeah, so this is three pounds from Pets at Home. He loves these because of like the wrapper feel to them. However, every time he's got it, I keep thinking he's gone in the bin and got wrappers or something. Or yeah, so as you can see, he's crazy. He loves it. Go on, then go play. Anyway, whilst I was in Pets at Home earlier, there was loads of Christmas stuff for the dogs, oh. and I literally had to refrain from buying any Christmas jumpers. We've got so many that we've bought for the Chihuahuas over the years because the Chihuahuas are now five. I can't believe how quickly the time has gone. So, I just wanted to show you some jumpers that I've kept over the years. No, these ones are precious. So, <laughs> these were the Chihuahuas' first ever Christmas jumpers. So adorable. So, this was Esme's. She was, she was a little elf. It's so tiny. It's like a mitten. How cute is that? And then this was Eli's. He was a little Christmas pudding. I cannot believe that they were that small. <laughs> it's mad to think. This jumper, believe it or not, son, used to fit you. You think that pudding? It did used to fit him, believe it or not. But yeah, so I've kept those because they're their first jumpers. So put them somewhere safe. In fact, I'll be right back. Hugo is so destructive, literally, if you've got hold of those jumpers, he'll rip them apart and I can't deal with that. So, I've got loads more jumpers. This one's really cute. This one, I think we put on Esme. Oh crap, it's easy to put on. These were all from Pets at Home, these ones. The, the first ones that I've just shown you, got those handmade. I ordered them on like eBay or something. I just had to measure the colours. This is so weird. Oh, here's the other jumper. So as you can see, it's got a cute little hood. A little bubble and then it's really good because you can actually pull it on keep them warm <laughs> that's so that you can have their harness on and then you can have their lead so yeah really cute that's Esme's I think and then there's this cute jumper as well this one's got bowels on this is for pets at home and it's got the cutest I don't know if you can see the cutest little buttons I really love that I like it as well because when we put it on them you can hear them walking around it's cute so this was Eli's jumper. I might see if it fits Hugo this year and put it on him because I think it's such a nice cute little jumper. It's not like necessarily Christmassy themed but it's just like really adorable. Even though Hugo is like full of fur, that is literally it. He is full of fur. He's so tiny underneath all that fur coat. We've got these. I'm not too sure on these. They're like baby grows almost. I don't know. I don't know if that would be really comfortable to be honest. But they've got penguins on. Cute. And then this one. Eli, so that one would have been for you, Esme, and this one's for Eli, and it's blue and got reindeers on, and some Santas as well, really cute. And then, <laughs> this is Eli's new pudding one that he's got, so this is the one that actually fits him now, so do you know what, bear with, let me just go and grab the other one. No, 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 no. not the jumper, here yeah, look, reindeer, reindeer, go get it. Um, just so you know, Hugo's a rescue. We've ah no, not the jumper. We've had him since July. He was ten months old when we had him, and as you can tell, he's very vocal. He's just over one now, um, so he's certainly doing really good. Hugo, will you stop? But he is really, really. He's quite a yappy dog, aren't you? You like to be heard, and you like to talk to your brothers and sister. Brother and sister, should I say? Look, there you go. Woo! He just needs a lot of um, a lot of attention. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to show you the size difference. Isn't that crazy to think that was puppy chihuahua, and that is adult chihuahua? I just think that's crazy, but also adorable. So, yeah, 
it's safe. This is another one of Esme's. You like this one, don't you, Es? So, this one's got a really cute pattern. Again, you can put the lead through and it's got a little bobble on the head. I won't put it on your now, but I think it's so cute. You're so cute. So yeah, we've got loads of jumpers. So you can see why I was so having to refrain from buying any more because I thought, oh, we've got so many. And then I found these because they've got like a cute little ottoman that I put. Esme, you look like you've got antlers. You're like a little reindeer. We have got an ottoman, which we fill with all the dog's things. So like the jumpers are in there, harnesses, just bits and bobs. And I've just come across these from last year. So these were like three pounds from Pets at Home. And they're little socks. And they've got little grippers on them. I don't think the chihuahuas will be overly thrilled with them. But I might try them on Hugo and see if the Pomeranian will enjoy them. If they don't, then it's fine. But I just thought they're really cute. And again, we clearly aren't getting Christmas pudding -y things. Someone likes dessert. <laughs> I also just wanted to show you something that i'm absolutely obsessed with using on the dogs and it's this it's heaven scent it's basically a body mist it smells so good it smells like like clean linen kind of like fluffy towels you know like um the yankee candle kind of fragrance it smells so good and it's sulfate free, paraben free and silicon free. It's so good. The dogs have got no reaction to it and it just makes them smell super nice. Ooh, nice. Hugo desperately needs to go to the groomers. Hugo, shush. I know you agree. He desperately needs to go to the uh, groomers. He needs a good trim and um, Oh my goodness, he's taking your reindeer again. Go on, just go play. So I need to get him in at the groomers, get him a good trim. I'm gonna keep it longish, because obviously it's winter, but I like to get him to have a short butt. Because I know it sounds gross, but if any of you have got yeah, long haired dogs, such as a Pomeranian, you'll know that it's not particularly nice when they go to the toilet. So you don't really want poo on their fur, it's gross. So I tend to get them to cut sort of around the bum area, and as you can see, it's thin but pretty fluffy at the moment. So yeah, that's a really good um, fragrance. And as you can see, I've just attempted to <laughs> brush Hugo and it's just, I mean, he wasn't having it. You can see how restless he is anyway. I wanted to show you how cute this little box is. I got it to store all of the dogs kind of like toys. We've got, we've got endless amounts of toys, but obviously they get through them. And as they chew through them, I'll throw them away and stuff when they're no good. But also, stuff like this it's good to have somewhere to store them in because the ottoman's got quite a lot of other stuff in there so i got this to put in the bedroom because we've got like a rustic wooden black white and uh, gray kind of theme going on in the bedroom so i thought that would look really cute in there and i got it from home sense 7.99 what a bargain and it's so lush so It's already got things in there like not having right now because you're not having everything here. so i'll literally put this in there i need to clean this first before i pull it away um but yeah just thought i'd share that with you just a few things to do with the doggies and so i'm just waiting for chloe to get home from work she's on day shifts so she's doing please don't stop come here come and give mommy some love so chloe's on a Oh my god, you're so loud. Yeah, there you go. So Chloe's on a... Let me talk. Chloe's on a 6.30, 6.30. So it's day shift, so she started uh, this morning. So I'm just waiting for her to get home so that we can sort something out for dinner because I'm absolutely starving. We need to go food shopping and I hate going food shopping. Like It's such a chore. Isn't it weird how when you're younger, you used to... It used to excite you the thought of being able to go food shopping on like when you were on your own and stuff. But now as a grown up, it's such a task. So we need to go food shopping. We've got nothing in really, so there's no options for dinner. So sorry, hun, haven't been able to cook. But I'm going to suggest a takeout because I can't be bothered to cook either, even if we did have any food in. So it's midweek. Just want to chill. 
and get an early one if we can. Uh, maybe watch a bit of Netflix and hopefully, I think I'll be able to fall asleep easy tonight. In fact, the whole time I've been talking, I've got my cup of tea up there and it's going cold. My S mug. So I'm covered in hairs. This is why I can't wear black. Mm, I've done a really good cup of tea. And also it's freezing outside, so it's nice to have a nice hot drink, warm you up. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go and take some paracetamol and ibuprofen for my head, because your brother's giving me a headache, hasn't he? Right then, guys, I will catch you later. <laughs>